please welcome the next president of the United States, President Donald J. Trump. Another win for the former president of the United States as he aims for a return to the White House. An even bigger win than we anticipated. His remaining competitor for the Republican presidential nomination, Nikki Haley, failed to win her home state where she had served as governor. But she told supporters her campaign would continue. There are huge numbers of voters in our Republican primaries who are saying they want an alternative. Haley has positioned herself as the alternative for voters who don't want to see a rematch between Trump and President Joe Biden in the November general election, arguing she is a younger and more energetic alternative. She was a good um, uh, in the United Nations as our lead to the United Nations, and uh, I think she has a really good foreign policy background. I think she'd be a good leader, and she's in the right age group. Other South Carolina voters criticized Haley as part of the political establishment while declining to say who they voted for. She's kind of a bought for hire, like her opinions sway based on the um, biggest contribution. Whoever pays her more, that's kind of where her vote goes. Trump supporters here in South Carolina say the former president's 2024 election bid isn't for power, but for the people. Go back to a um, better economy, freedom. You know, get rid of the people, uh, the, the people that um, committed crimes like this current administration had them accountable for. A win here in her home state would have boosted Haley's candidacy, but she's already looking forward to Super Tuesday in early March when a diverse range of 15 U.S. states and one American territory will award more than a third of the delegates needed for the Republican presidential nomination. Haley's supporters here in South Carolina say she will have a broader appeal across the nation. I can be proud of her when she's talking, that she's not saying horrible things about everybody. Um, she seems like to be a real smart person. Some South Carolina voters say that even if Trump is the front runner, the four criminal court cases pending against him could change the dynamic of the race. What if they put him in jail before the election? I don't know. <laughs> then what happens? So I guess Nikki Haley could be the next Republican nominee, but I'm not sure. Kelsch and his wife criticized those court cases for targeting Trump, but declined to say whom they were voting for. Katherine Gibson, VOA News, Charleston, South Carolina.